this is just chaos. This is a solid state Tesla coil I found online. This is my version, and it's terrifying. <laughs> I've never really wanted to build a solid state Tesla coil. Funny how things change, because now I see them as the engineering masterpiece that they are. It's time to build a proper solid state Tesla coil. First, it needs to be compact. Have one power cord which powers all the circuitry. Be adjustable for pulse width, frequency, and spark size. Easily disassembled for repairs, which turned out to be a great decision. <laughs> Lastly, be solid and sexy. With the circuit built and the body complete, I set to work on the pancake secondary. No small task. The secondary turned out beautifully with 720 feet of wire. Seven turns of wire constituted the primary, which were held in position under the secondary by these bolts. Then I bolted both the secondary and primary together onto the top of the base, which blended function with strength. The outer turn of the secondary connected to electrical ground through one of the mounting bolts. I was eager to test the circuit, and this newborn was thirsty for power. Cranking the Variac to 50%, she took a breath. Yeah, buddy! Giving her full voltage, she screamed. <laughs> oh yeah! The metal screws were a terrible idea. They were capacitively coupling to the secondary, causing arcing between primary and secondary. So I set to work redesigning the primary coil structure. Metal bolts replaced with plasma cubes and an extra insulator on the top made a much better setup. It turned out beautifully, was structurally strong, and it fit right underneath the secondary. Putting the entire package back together, I gave it 75% and prayed. Cute, it's cute. All right, let's, uh, let's give it a try. Full power. Oh, dude! The secondary waveform looked great, and here's a spark event. So I cranked up the repetition rate. I just managed to snap these pictures, then my IGBTs died. So I rewound the GDT with intertwisted windings and symmetry. And while I was out, I cut a ventilation port underneath the transistors and one in the back of the base. I felt confident. Here's half power. <laughs> Baby! And the full power tests will blow your mind. God, that's just insane. All right, so this is about five to six inches. <laughs> this is definitely my favorite project I've ever built for Plasma Channel. <laughs> this is just chaos. The radiated RF field is also super impressive. Here's it wirelessly illuminating a xenon-filled tube. A glass light bulb also shows how strong that field is as well. That filament is glowing red hot, that half power. This coil also has the ability to do continuous wave as well. The arcs are hot, but the IGBTs are probably hotter.